Welcome back to Joe's RC Corner, and we're back on the Super Chipmunk. And today, we're going to be building the hatch. Okay, so we're going to start building the hatch uh, for the Super Chipmunk here. And uh, first thing I did to get started with this is uh, I made a plywood template originally of the opening that I cut into the top of this hatch here, as you can see. So uh, I took that plywood template and I, I really want to make the bottom out of balsa wood, save a little bit of weight, um, but I wanted to increase the thickness. So I got... Uh, quarter inch uh, balsa sheet in here and uh, use that template and I cut it out and then sanded it uh, roughly to the shape. So this isn't the final shape yet. Um, we need to move the aircraft a little closer here. So as you can see on the hat on the opening here, is there's these two angles here um, and on the original plastic uh, piece that was in here uh, the plastic came out here and then followed this contour and then followed this contour here up to the top again we are going to mimic that on this piece of balsa wood so the first thing i need to do is i need to get the measurements from here to the start of this upward slope here. And then I'm gonna cut this uh, panel here into that shape. So that way I can get the center section done at least. Um, and then I'm gonna have to add a piece of wood that goes up on this angle and a piece that goes up on this angle. Um, and then we'll close off the, the curved sections here to make that uh, canopy there, or make the, uh, the cockpit section here. Um, so we're going to get started on that first here. Okay, we'll set this aside. And I'm going to get my tape measure. Left it around here somewhere. Okay, so I have my, have my tape measure here. I'm going to go ahead and do a rough measurement. And looks like about 8 inches. Okay. And I know this opening goes from the all right here. It's about thirteen point five. Yeah, thirteen point five. Let's see, how do I want to do this? Okay guys, so what I've been working on here is uh, I've been working on this front section of the hatch. So I want to kind of make um, the dashboard up here for the instrument panel. So, and to meet these curves up in the front, I'm taking this uh, quarter inch balsa that I was using and I found the center of it and then cut an angles, angles into it to meet that curve. So now I'll be able to sand and shape this into a nice rounded part up here. Uh, and uh, allow me to put a instrument panel up on the front here. So that's what we're working on right now. I'm gonna glue this last piece here. in there okay so now I'm 
Uh, should fit like so. We're gonna have to sand some of that plastic to meet those edges properly. We might need to add a little bit to the edges here. And then uh, I'll have a piece that comes down straight there too. To here. That gives me the dashboard or the uh, instrument panel here. Okay. So now we'll take this and I am going to trace this. Because I want to cut another one of those and I want it to fit right up against it. Get this out of the way so you can see what I'm doing, guys. Sorry about that. There. So now I'm taking this piece here. I traced it. So I have a rough shape there. And then the measure of the distance here for the size of the piece. So about, uh, about one inch will do <coughs> from the center. <coughs> It'll go a little bit longer. Excuse me. A little over one inch. A little over one inch. Go straight across. I'm going to take this over to my uh, benchtop sander. Okay, now we're going to take this piece. We're going to glue that to the front of this. It's medium CA. Work on the shape in a little bit more then. We'll keep feeding this in. Getting it a little bit smoother every little bit. So as you can see, it is a little bit big for this section here, which is fine. That's what I wanted it to be for right now. We're gonna round those off just a little bit though. Okay, so we finished uh, making up the instrument panel <coughs> portion of it. And it's gonna fit right in here. I'm gonna have to play around with a little bit of sanding still, uh, but it should fit right inside the canopy at that point, point right there. So the next stage is to take the rest of this. We gotta glue it to it and uh, finish this portion. So I'm going to so this is gonna go to here, this is gonna go to here, and now I need to find where that next bend is, where this angles back upward again. So that'll be the next step, so stick with me. We're gonna go ahead and do that next.
uh, to be about right here. And we're gonna give it a little extra because I prefer to have a little extra and have to sand it back than to not have enough and have to go back and do it again. So we're gonna go about right here and did the measurements. We'll go ahead and trim this. Okay, now we got that trimmed. I'm gonna sand that square. Same on this side. And we got a little visitor here. What are you doing, Dusty? What are you doing, Dusty? This is my shop dog. <laughs> All right, back to work. Okay, so we have this piece that's uh, now roughly sanded to it. I'll go ahead and scrape that off of there. That is gonna be sanded, so I'm not worried about it. So we'll make the angles proper once we get it in the in the canopy here. Uh, but uh, so this looks like this is about the right length here and uh, the sides of the fuselage is going to need to be trimmed down a little bit further because this isn't quite touching that wood down there which is you know that's fine we'll uh, we'll fix that all right so there we go I know what this is um, and then the last piece is going to come up from this angle so that should be this piece here, like that. And we'll do some finishing sanding on that. So let's get this angled. Uh, it's gonna go this way. Okay, so we've gotten the canopy uh, open in here pretty much shaved uh, properly. This is the, uh, the hatch or the bottom of the canopy that I've just completed. So we got the dashboard up here in the front. We got the backward slant that goes in along the back and that fits right on here like so. It's pretty damn close if you ask me. Uh, so I'm thinking of having a magnet up here in the front, a magnet back here. Um, to hold this uh, canopy in place. And the canopy fits over that like so. Um, got a little bit of trimming to do, a little bit of shaping to do with the canopy. Uh, the canopy itself was in pretty, uh, pretty rough shape here. It's not, it, it looks like it was sat in a, in a garage uh, of a long period of time not attached to anything and it's uh, seriously warped. Um, but a little bit of heat with the heat gun and some uh, manipulation there, we should be able to get that to fit perfectly. Um, I'll get some close up pictures of this, uh, but hopefully we can get this all to fit nicely. Uh, it's, like I said, it's gonna take a little bit of trimming here on the canopy as well uh, to get that shape in the back here to fit properly. Um, and to make sure that we're covering all of the, around the plastic here. Um, 
So we're getting, getting there, guys. Um, so this is probably about all we're gonna be getting done today. I don't have the pilot. Um, with that, guys, we're getting close. So uh, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and keep going here a little bit, and uh, we're, we're gonna try to get the magnets in place here. Because uh, as soon as we get this kind of lined up properly, and this is all attaching in the right spots, um, that gets us a bit closer. So, and I'm gonna add some supports here too today. So we wanna get some support here. So we're gonna work on that too. Cause I, I really would like to have two magnets, one on either side here, one back here on this part, and one up here in the can and the cow, or the, uh, sorry, the uh, dashboard here. So one here, one on either side here, and one here. That'll give me four points of contact with the magnets, um, and uh, that should work pretty well. So we're gonna go ahead and start that next. So the next thing I'm gonna to have to do is I'm gonna cut these pieces of wood here. Okay, so I have two plywood pieces here that I've created and that are gonna go on the inside wall here as my extra support on both sides. Okay, now that'll give me my rigidity in the sides of the plastic fuselage. And then I'm gonna add a piece of balsa wood probably uh, across to keep this from squashing, but still give me the space here to put the batteries in and out. So let's go ahead and glue these pieces in here now. Sorry about that, the camera died on me, um, but I uh, went ahead and finished up what I was doing here, uh, gluing this hatch in place. So, or gluing the, uh, the side wall pieces here. Um, so what we've done, what I went ahead and did off camera there, is I used some of my, uh, the clear white Gorilla Glue that doesn't, it doesn't expand, doesn't foam up, but uh, it'll glue this, the wood, plywood panels in there really nicely. So I got those, the two plywood panels are now glued to the plastic sides. Once that part is cured, uh, my plan is then to cut out uh, some balsa wood panels or pieces of wood here and go lengthwise, kind of like, um, like a former. But I wanna make sure I leave this area clear up in the front so I can still slide the batteries into the, into the uh, airframe up in the front here. So I'm gonna play around with uh, on location. And then on the top, I'm gonna do a cross piece here. Um, uh, let's see if I got a piece laying around here. Okay, here we go. So just as a, this isn't the size reference, but uh, it'll give you the idea of what I'm gonna do. So this piece is gonna go in length uh, or perpendicular to the fuselage, uh, like a former, up against these plywood pieces that I glued into the side of the plastic fuselage here. Okay, that's gonna add some rigidity to the side of the fuselage, okay? And then this balsa wood is gonna go on the top this way, just near this top ledge. And that'll give me another location to put magnets for that hatch to glue down to, to attach. So then I'll have one, two, three, four points of contact with the uh, magnets for the hatch. Um, that will allow that hatch to have plenty of contact to hold on uh, so it won't blow off in the wind while we're flying. <clears throat> 
So today we we got the the um, the hatch started finally, and uh, it fits into the cat into the canopy perfectly. Uh, well, almost perfect. Got a little more a little more sand than the dew, as you can see, but uh, it's uh, very close here, looking really nice. So we'll get that all finished up and uh, and, and working nicely. Uh, so that's that's the first part there that we completed. And I also got the uh, magnets uh, front and rear already glued in place with some 30-minute uh, epoxy. So that'll let that cure for 30 minutes, and uh, we'll be ready to start uh, fiberglass in this. Uh, well, not fiberglass, more sanding really, and fitting. So we're gonna set that aside, let that cure. Um, the other things that we accomplished today is I got these uh, plywood doublers on the plastic sides here. Uh, I wanted to add a little bit extra strength to the sides of the fuselage uh, where we cut out this big section because back here you can see it's, it's attached on the top and bottom, gives it a lot of strength. Um, you know, just don't squeeze really hard in here and, and you're fine. Uh, but you shouldn't be doing that anyway. So, uh, the, but the front side here, because we cut out this big hole in the top, um, I wanted to be able to add some extra strength there um, and keep it from vibrating and causing some cracking along uh, down the road. Um, another uh, one of the other things that this is going to allow me to do is it's going to give me a good glue joint um, to be able to add some formers in here uh, towards the center and and baby back here where the uh, servos are. But I think just one former is going to do it. Um, but that former is also going to serve as extra mounting points for magnetic uh, attachment uh, on the on the canopy here. So once that is glued in here and it's once that's dry, I'm gonna add those formers um, to where I can add a, a another surface here out to the side of the fuselage so that way I can add a magnet on those locations as well on the hatch. So next video, uh, next week, I'll probably be working on finalizing the sanding on the, the hatch Add in those formers, and then uh, getting that hatch mounted completely, so that way we're ready to go. Uh, and then after that, we'll probably, uh, along that line, we'll probably also work on getting the uh, cowl uh, mounted as well, getting the screw uh, mount points in there, and, uh, and then we can start doing some priming and sanding. So thank you for joining Joe's RC Corner today. I appreciate it. And uh, definitely make sure you hit that like, subscribe button, hit the bell so you get the notifications for the next video. And uh, go ahead and share this video with as many people as you think would be interested in it. So thank you again, guys. I appreciate it. And I'll uh, see you on the next video. Hey, guys, don't forget to visit my Teespring store. I have some uh, great T-shirts and uh, mugs that have the Joe's RC Corner logos on it help share my channel and uh, every uh, purchase does give me just a little bit to uh, help bring you better content so, and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and uh, share with your friends and family thanks guys